To access the control panel, uh, click Start, Setup, Control Panel. And this opens up uh, all of your settings for SI2015. Here you can manage your head ends. And uh, head ends are for wires that you add to projects, uh, bulk wire in particular. So um, any uh, product in your database that is assigned the category wire and cable um, can be designated as bulk wire if it's coming off of a spool. I'll show you that setting in uh, just a second here. But this is the head end list and this is uh, defined as where the wire is coming from. So when you add a wire to a job you pick the location where it's going to and uh, this would be where it's coming from. Now you'll get uh, more detailed reports and information once you actually like do a schematic drawing inside of um, Visio where you're actually making wire connections, you'll know exactly where the wire is coming from, what device. Um, in this case, you're just giving a generalization. So um, you can manage your list out here in the control panel. Hit save and close. More um, likely, you'll be editing, editing this on the fly uh, within a project. So uh, let's go over to a Visio project. We'll uh, choose this project here check it out from the server. Uh, let's open the Visio interface for this and um, we'll go ahead and add some products namely wire. So uh, let's go to the project editor. There's no uh, pro uh, products currently in this project so we'll pick a location say the living room, uh, distributed audio and we'll go ahead and add a um, wire so let's just do a quick search here and we'll find a wire and we'll just drag it over and we'll add it right to the uh, Visio plan page and because it's a bulk wire being added to a project this is where you're going to see the prompt for the head end and the wire length as well as if you want to fill in a start terminal and end terminal for reporting purposes but here's the head end drop down so when you're adding this to the project you can choose um, what the head end is and it will display on the wire shape on the plan view page. So uh, let's just choose AV rack one, hit assign. And of course, if you want to change your wire length, you can. And this will add the wire. Let's zoom in, take a look at it. And you can see it, uh, it labels with its component ID, but here at the end is the head end. So it's listed on the wire and the reports will actually uh, show that as well. So um, this wire has been assigned this head end. Now on a page like this you would attach it to another product um, and you'll get a report uh, knowing you know what location everything is in because you've assigned it that. Um, you'll know where the wire is coming from um, in this case AV Rack 1. Uh, let me show you that uh, connection and that report. So let's pull up the project editor here and uh, pull up the product explorer. Do a quick search for a speaker I want to add and I'll choose the speaker. Uh, it's living room, distributed audio. Let's pull this shape over here and you'll see a little icon here for a speaker. Uh, it's labeled here also with its component ID. Um, make an attachment anywhere on the shape where you can see it clicks and snaps too. And now if you run a report, uh, in particular, let's, uh, let's expand this here. Let's go to reports, installation reports. Uh, the wire checklist report now will show um, this connection. So we can do this by head end or run it by location or by wire number. I'll run it like this and uh, we'll have a look. So here at this point, um, this report is showing, it's coming from, um, it says no device because we don't know what it's connected to yet. Uh, but it does list the head end here. That's where this comes into play, AV Rack 1. It's going to the living room. Um, it's going to be attached to this speaker um, because that connection was made on that Visio page. And of course, there's the information about the wire, the uh, manufacturer model wire number. You can also um, change the head end at any point for a wire or assign it in the, at any point. Um, if, say, the uh, project was created and sold, and um, as the you know, salesperson created the project. They didn't add the head ends, the wires. They just uh, focused on the length because that dealt with the uh, dollar value, the money. Um, you might add those as you're designing. You might pull something over. It doesn't have a head end. You want to assign it. Uh, multiple ways to do that. You can, you know, just open the um, product.
product to edit it. You could also, of course, click right on the shape if you're in the Visio interface and choose this, uh, double click the shape, it will open the uh, uh, product editor for this particular wire. And um, if you go here to the specifications, you can change that head end here. And here you can manage your head ends if you want to go ahead and edit the list. So this is the uh, most common place you would probably be editing, editing the head end list is in a project versus out under the control panel.